looking at the layout, and this is where my new diagram comes into effect. Just going to go and move that a bit. This is what Civil Designer uses to do your bow mouth design. We're looking at four points on your two roads. We're looking at point LC, and this is on the main road. So our main road being this road over here. There's the LC point. Civil Designer would automatically go and pick up change value on the main road, in this case being 335, which is the LC indicated point over here. Looking at the next point, right of junction or RC, you can see the coordinates automatically picked up and the change value. There it is, RC over here. Now, in some extreme cases, you as the designer are able to go and make changes to these values. It could be that due to your coordination interval or due to intersection being on curves, you want to go and put in your own value there. You could go and put in which value to use and you could go and specify the fixed option. And in that case, you override the change value that Civil Designer put in for you. Looking at the next point, intersection point on main road, that being point PI, I've indicated on the diagram where PI is. Looking at the last point, intersecting road, IP1, I've indicated again on the diagram. With these points, remember where you stand, where your I position is, the width left option over here is from IP1 to the left edge where my lead in text is situated on that side of the road. Civil Designer automatically picks up that width. It automatically goes and picks up the left grade. And from that, it's able to interpolate the elevation at that point. It knows what the longitudinal grade is at that point of the design. And in a similar manner, it picks up my LC position with its grade and width in order to interpolate a point on the edge. If you recall earlier, under the edge conditions, we specified a vertical curve of either linear or S-curve. So depending on what you put in there, Civil Designer will use the existing grade of your main road and the existing grade of your intersecting road. It would split the bow mouth into segments and from that it interpolates the elevations along your bow mouth. Now remember that these are design tools that Civil Designer gives you, but at the end of the day, as a designer, you need to ensure that you have sufficient slope along these bow mouths. And I'll show you how you can go about doing that. Then over here, depending again on whether you selected linear or S-curve grading, you can apply this to the entire junction and that would include your taper options as well, or if you only want to apply it to the center curve. Once again, you can go and save these settings and load them at a later stage.